So, this is just another unhinged conspiracy theory. Uh, I chose to wear my white lab coat because uh, I, it's been scientifically proven that people in a white lab coat are taken more seriously. <laughs> Imagine that, me taken seriously. Uh, never, could never be. Um, so before I get into this, uh, I just wanted to say hello to the nearly 10 new people. Uh, I do stand behind everything I said uh, while I was exhausted last night. Uh, maybe I should do this with more energy levels, but you know, maybe also it was like <laughs> uh, t flavored by that. Maybe my exhaustion gave it extra attitude. I don't fucking know. But what I do know is that, uh, yeah, if you're new here, I'm sorry. This is all it is. I'm ranting into a fucking microphone about bullshit. Um, I find things that might make other people angry, and I talk about them. That's my job. So, strap in, uh, and let's get ready to talk about fucking UFOs. Because, fuck me, do I hate UFOs as a concept, and I also hate the disclosure movement, and I hate everything about it. I think it sucks ass through a coffee straw, just liquid cancerous ass. That's what I think. Because disclosure isn't actually about disclosing anything. In fact, it's about covering shit up. And I 100% mean that. Um, I, I want you guys to do an experiment. I want you to check uh, every time UFOs have trended because there will be a positive correlation to controversy in the news that would kind of make the elites look a little bad. Um, every single fucking time, that's the way it is. And somehow, uh, there's a decent chunk of truthers who don't fucking get it. Uh, so, for those of you who are still lagging behind, for those of you who are experiencing torrents of blood because you're in the nosebleed seats, I'm going to shout this to you. The UFO movement, the disclosure movement, is fake. It's designed to distract you. 100%. There is no way it's not. Um, I started to feel this way when I was younger, um, less knowledgeable, uh, and I had already basically decided that it was fake, but then just so many little factors, got my hair in my face, so many little factors, uh, popped up to sort of justify my attitude, um, and <laughs> these factors include, uh, funding from the elites, support from the elites, um, the fact that everything that, that, like, this movement does can benefit the elites. Uh, it's very much one of those situations where you could ask just Kui Bono, who benefits, you know? <laughs> Ordo Abkeo as well, if we're talking foreign languages to sound more pithy. Um, it's, it's real fucking standard shit. But for some reason, a significant enough amount of conspiracy theorists uh, bite that shit like a meaty cock. And I am not one of those people. Every one of my conspiracies that I have theorized is 100% backed by fact. And I have, like, researched the fuck out of subjects. I have read so many scientific papers. I have read, like, so many articles from so many... Uh, websites, both government approved and not. Um, my conspiracy theories are talking about real world shit that's happening fucking now. Um, but they get overshadowed in, in, in even conspiracy spaces because whenever a significant thing where, like, I could say I was right, happens, there's always fucking UFOs in the news again. <laughs> the UFOs are always there, right at the damnedest, most inconvenientest times. Um, right now, 
the Fauci email leaks happened. I made a video about it. It was hasty. I was exhausted. It doesn't fucking matter. The point is that, like, Fauci recently had, like, a significant amount of flack because of emails that he exchanged with other people or that other people sent him that basically paint him as a guy who either lied or actively ignored things that could have helped people, uh, and either way proved that he's basically the scumbag we all expected him to be. Haha! -ha! Finally proof that even the most normiest of normie has to normie into their normie cavity. But UFOs are in the news again now. Ooh, why? I wonder why. I wonder why. Um, before we get into this, let me just say that the UFO evidence is always fucking stupid. UFO evidence is always just the most water-brained bullshit. Um, I want you, uh, for the right price, I'm not doing this shit for free, but for the right price, I will take your shit-ass cell phone video where you're like, <gasps> and you're gasping in the background, and you're saying, ooh, look at that, pointing up at the sky, right? And talking about some nondescript light. I will take that video, and I will make a realistic-looking UFO in that. At least realistic enough that it's just as realistic as the ones the disclosure movement is constantly disclosing about. Do it! Send it to me. I will make you a UFO video. I'm not joking. Um, for the right price. Again, not doing this shit for free. I gotta pay rent, and I'm not gonna start making parody UFO videos and lose my roof. <laughs> it's not my priority list. So, just to be real clear and extremely specific, um, they're bullshit. They're so fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, so... <laughs> You have fucking floating lights in the sky. Particle effects. The literal easiest fucking effect to put in a fucking video. And this can't be fake. No way. It can't be fake. They can do CGI movies that make aliens look super realistic. They can have demons that don't even exist in movies. They can have monsters incorporated with all those weird looking things and... They can make, you know, whatever the fuck they want. They can do that. It's called fucking using a computer and putting the fucking shit together. Like, these studios, these animation studios, they work really fucking hard to make sure that these things look as believable as possible to pass an uncanny valley or whatever. Um, and <laughs> you think they can't put fucking glowing dots in the sky. Because you want to believe... Because you've got confirmation bias. Because you're wasting everybody's fucking time. Like, <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. I want to put a particle in your fucking video so that you can go spread it around. And that later, it can be proven to be fake. And all the fucking news outlets that went like, la 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 because they fucking had a lead that came from a shitty video that wasn't real, can all be embarrassed. Because that's what happens every single fucking time. Except, <laughs> sometimes, these things are considered more legitimate. And why? Because the government says they're real. Conspiracy theorists suddenly think that because... The government says something is true. Now we can believe it. What? Why? Why would we believe the government now any more than when we didn't believe them before? Oh, yeah, so your shitty little particle physics thing bullshit has fucking timestamps on it. And it has fucking, like, uh, scrolling numbers and bullshit. And it has a crosshair in the middle and brackets on the corners. That means that it came from the Air Force and not a computer. Yeah. I believe you. You're not full of shit at all. I can't put an overlay on a video either. In fact, give me a video. 
I'll fucking blur the shit out of it so that it looks like it was taken from an aerial pho photography lens. I'll put brackets on it. I'll put your dumb crosshair on it. And I'll put your dumb fucking speck in the video so that you can dumb fucking drool sound at it. Just like, can we not... So, like, you put a little speck in the thing, you claim that it's unnatural looking, you claim that it's, whoa, this is amazing, you sound fucking enthralled. You sound like the fucking soy boys in those, oh, pictures, that's what you sound like, and <laughs> you think we're supposed to just believe this, because, and this is the sad part, many people do. Many people. Many people believe this shit. If there was actual proof of UFOs being alien life, if there was actual proof that they were indeed UFOs and not the thing the original graphic designer that put a speck in a fucking video can definitely identify as, yep, that's my speck. Uh, if they are indeed UFOs, <laughs> you have no proof that there's an alien in that UFO. You have no proof that it wasn't a speck on a lens. You have zero proof. No proof. None. You know? Maybe somebody shined a laser at the right time and it fucked up your optics. You ever think about that? If, if, if this is real? If this is a legitimate clip, whatever this is? Um, you ever think that maybe somebody's fucking with you? Or unintentionally doing that. There's some kid with a dumb laser pointer being dumb about it. Shining up, at, shining it up at airplanes and it accidentally hits your fucking camera. On your drone or your jet or your satellite. Ever fucking occur to you? Hmm? Maybe? Huh. Wow. That's not possible at all. It has to be an UFO. And then we get to the fun part where Russia Today recently released proof that the U.S. has figured out how to deepfake satellite footage. Whether or not this is an actual new development, uh, it's pretty fucking funny that this somehow coincides with this footage, this disclosure, this movement saying it happened. Maybe it didn't, and you're being led like a sheep. I'm not reading a script. I'm just yelling at you because fuck you. Okay? If you're one of those people spreading this like it's woo, it's awesome. It's fucking real. They said it's real. The government said it's real. Now I can believe it because the government said it's real. And you call yourself a conspiracy theorist? Woo! You're just a sheep. You're just normal like everybody else. Ever occur to you maybe that's the case? Why are you suddenly believing the government? It makes no fucking sense. Nobody should believe the government. The government is a pack of lying cunts. Huh? Why? Why are we suddenly believing these people? Can you explain that to me? Because I don't. I don't believe them. I don't believe them for a fucking second. But somehow, so many fucking people do. And the worst part is, because I've looked into this, because I'm in actual conspiracy circles that actually care about stopping actual conspiracies, uh, I am familiar with the roots of this. I want every single person, again, I can't stress this enough, to go watch True Stream Media. Uh, there's going to be a thing in the video somewhere that says, here, go here to watch this video. That video will be a video by True Stream Media about how disclosure is literally funded, supported, done by the financial fucking elite, by the deep state, by the everything that suddenly these people believe. The truth is out there, right? The truth is out there. So let's, let's spread this uh, interpretation of the truth because clearly government bullshit is to believed immediately if it confirms your bias, right? Isn't that, isn't, that, isn't that how conspiracy theories work? Or maybe people in the truth or community should look up, like, truth. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. So, watch this video. Um, in it, in this video, uh, they go over uh, the fact 
that Lawrence Rockefeller and the CIA basically started it. And they have proof. They have proof. I want you to watch their video, so I'm not going to spoil too much of it, because I want traffic to be driven to their video. But let me be clear here and say that that's the way it fucking is. Area 51 was heavily supported by financial elites. I wonder why. <laughs> Harry Reid uh, fun forced funding to the Pentagon to inv investigate glow glowing auras. Re right. I'm not joking. I, I promise. I wish I was. There's a Washington Post article, I think it was, on it. And that's, like, demonstrated in the video. Right? Right? I just, I feel like uh, the entire world has taken crazy pills and I'm one of the only people who are sober. Clean and sober. I have remained clean and sober for multiple years now and I, uh, I feel sick with my sobriety. They, they include footage also from a fun little presentation that basically says what I'm saying, which is called uh, The Disclosure. And it's basically a little infographic about how, yeah, you know what? Uh, if you want to cover up fucking problems, if you want to make sure that your empire can still expand and get funding and support and shit, create an outside threat. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that outside threat gets you lots of funding and power expansion. Look to the skies, guys. Don't look down here. And don't, don't focus on the fact that it appears that the virus might have come from a lab. Don't focus on the fact that it appears that people knew about all of this. Don't, don't look at the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the fact that the U.S. dollar is slowly losing massive amounts of value very quickly actually we shouldn't say slowly uh 28 trillion dollars in debt and rising but don't pay any attention to that please look at the speck on the screen please why are people buying this well because they were indoctrinated by their government schools and shit to believe that when you hear something from the state it suddenly gains legitimacy it fucking doesn't it doesn't make it any more correct to hear it from the state it doesn't make it true because the government says it there have been false flags all over the fucking place that's why people don't like uh hearing that the u.s has lied uh its way into every war because suddenly it challenges their narrative that if the u.s says something is good it's good and that's why so many people got pissed at my Memorial Day post. That's why people get pissed at my posts in general, because I'm not very nice to that sort of fucking person. <laughs> I'm, I'm very irritated when that sort of person chooses to open their mouth and say the word things that make them sound the dumb people. Like, I don't respect these people. Why are you talking about specs? You know, there's a verse, I think it's like Matthew 7, 4, or 5 or something, where it goes into the fact that, like, you probably shouldn't inspect the moat in, in, in your brother's eye, the speck in your brother's eye, before you remove the plank from your own. It's really exactly that. There are so many fucking problems. There's, like, a lumberyard of planks in the eye of American foreign and domestic policy, but they want you to look at the fucking speck. Because it makes it easier for them. It makes it easier for them to do what they do. Which is fuck with you for money and power. That's what it is. Pure. They get fucking technology. You know? They get power. They get fuck tons of fuck shit. And all they had to do is make a spec in a video. How... how how? Right? I made a tweet on this. It got some traction. UFO disclosure funded by the financial elite, perpetuated by the state. Always news when serious topics trend. Easy way to justify space weapons and surveillance. 
cheap conspiracy theorist bait. It justifies spending in tyranny and you're not woke for helping them. Pure. Plain and simple. Real easy. Super. Super easy to do. Cheap, effective propaganda. It's like grains. It's like actually the the byproduct of grains that they feed to cows. It's like you're bellying up to the fucking trough for this fucking bullshit, and it doesn't matter what the truth is to you. You see spec you want. Dangle the jingly keys in front of the baby people that were created by the state to always look to fatherland or motherland for their fucking attention and bullshit. Don't pay any attention to the person jiggling the keys or whether they're banking against your interests. Don't look at their tyranny. Don't look at their unpeacefulness. Don't look at their wars. Don't look at their surveillance. Don't look at the slow death of privacy. Don't look at the fucking domestic surveillance. Don't look at the fact that everything is slowly gearing up to a fucking Armageddon, the likes of which will make revelations look like a children's story. Don't pay attention to that. We put a fucking speck in the sky. You see why I'm a little irritated? The people who install pale horses on runways and have murals of death and destruction and have the Georgia Guidestones talking about reducing the population to be in perpetual harmony with nature. The people who are responsible for puppeteering the world and having all of these financial assets to their behest because the blood the bloodlines that, that push it are the same bloodlines that have always pushed it. Maybe the financial interests that are entrenched in this country have always wanted to maintain their power, and cheap thrills like this are exactly their way of doing that. Maybe this is all a fucking hoax, and it was extremely easy to perpetuate. Plus, you know what else? The entire Hollywood space industry gets to profit too. Hollywood uh, gets to refine their CGI techniques constantly and get more and more funding so that if they ever do want to make a realistic looking disclosure video, they've got all the fucking technology they need in order to do it. You get the picture yet? Huh? I don't know how it could be any clearer. It's certainly a clearer picture than the fucking videos of UFOs. Those are blurry as shit. I don't like the fact that people in the conspiracy space are this easily distracted. I don't like that a significant amount of people in the liberty movement aren't conspiratarian enough to look into these sorts of things and find out their bullshit. I have seen so many libertarians talk about UFOs and say, well, now see, now that they've admitted to it, we can all go home. It's all been true. What? You're libertarian. You're supposed to hate the state. Now you're not believing that they could possibly be lying to you because there's a speck on your screen. They make my microfiber cloths for those. You know, you could just like wipe gets the specs off. It's almost like spec ops. Huh? It's almost like you're being bought by CIA propaganda to justify further spending for a space program to keep you distracted while the elites who put so much money into fucking space are slowly preparing for Elysium in real life or the Expanse or whatever. By the way, Expanse, very good series. Uh, exactly as cynical as I am about this bullshit. Really recommend. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, uh, let's be real here. This is about money, power, control. This is not about truth. This is not about disclosure. This is about the CIA. This is about the Rockefellers. This is about the same parties who have been entrenched for millennia, honestly, keeping their power because they sense blood in the water when it comes to people wanting their freedom that they have never truly had. That's why they like UFO disclosure, because it gets all these people to tweet about their bullshit, which takes the time and energy away from actual shit that's going wrong. And uh, while they do that, while they do all this, uh, they get to... <laughs> 
<laughs> they get to have uh, all the fun in the world <laughs> watching their pet project work, watching these people run around and do what they say and act like rebels while doing it. You're not X-Files. You're not Scully and Mulder. By the way, government agents too. Not to be outdone, even in uh, a relatively anti-government message show where it shows that corruption is going to cover up a significant amount of truth even if it was to be discovered, even if it was to be thoroughly investigated. Even in that, it was thoroughly investigated only with the power of the government. So it's still the government being, hey, we're still the people in charge here, fucker. You ain't. You never was. And people see this, and they still think it's fine. Oh, wait, you know, I've said too much. Sorry, I, I need to put on these shades, because then I won't be neuralized. There, now I'm safe. I gotta, gotta get my hair out from behind it. It's gotta be a perfect seal to prevent the neuralizer from affecting me. Because yet another space movie where the government has a secret agency and we're supposed to be on their side. Yeah. Hmm? Sorry, what was I saying? Oh, right. UFOs are bullshit, and so are you if you spread them. Until there's actual proof, until you have actual reasoned evidence, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. This has been an unhinged conspiracy rant. Feel free to uh, like and subscribe and comment how much you hated this video all around here. Feel free to shove this angrily in the face of the cunts who share spec videos like they're truthers. And smash the state.